What's good, grind schoolers? It's your boy Rob, and we're back in the shop today. So today, what we're gonna do is we are going to um, we're gonna do the center console or redo the center console. I've done it before for the El Camino. I mocked it up, measured everything, um, and I put it in there, and I never bolted it down or cared to like fix it or make it like how I wanted to. But today, we got uh, some thinner, some thinner wood that we're gonna use. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and mock up another center console so that we can wrap it or fiberglass it or whatever I decide to do with it um, and make it look a lot nicer since I did the floor and everything. And um, once I'm complete with that, I can start putting the interior back together. Um, the dashboard is gonna come back and we're gonna fix the cracks in the dashboard. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, I don't know when it's gonna be up, but we're gonna go ahead and take care of that, do that. Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep working. Um, before we get to the video, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get all the notifications when I upload a video. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here's the center console. Um, that's the one that I have mocked up. Uh, as you can see, these are the sides, uh, the two wood pieces of wood on top of this one. Those are the side pieces. And then I had a little uh, makeshift box or whatever, or center console where I could put stuff in. And then this is the top piece where the gear shifter comes out of and cup holders and stuff like that. And I was trying to make some um, some little uh, buttons there or whatever, or toggle switches there for like uh, in the future for electric fans and electric fuel pump and stuff like that. And I may add a start button, I don't know. We'll decide that uh, down the road when all that stuff happens. But uh, we're basically going to take this template, redo it. Um, as you can see, the wood looks terrible. This piece is warped. Um, so we're gonna redo it and we're gonna do it up really, really nice. Uh, we're gonna fiberglass it and we're going to finish it all the way this time. All right, so we got it traced out. Um, I kind of traced uh, a little bit further out. Um, the inside line is the one that I'm gonna be using the cutoff of. But when I trace this one out, the wood is kind of like uneven and it's kind of wavy. So um, I used basically the outside edge to kind of make like a line that's a little bit further out. Um, to overcompensate for a little bit of the, the waves or whatever. And then I made a line on the inside. So the inside line is the one that we're gonna cut and we're gonna cut it straight. Um, like I said, the, this one right here, it's a little bit wavy. So I don't want that on this panel. Um, so I kind of made it a little bit bigger than what I'm actually gonna cut. And then I wanted to increase the um, length in the back about, I would say this is about an inch, a little bit more than an inch, um, inch and a half, whatever, inch and a quarter, um, because I want to have more room for like, um, like a cup holder, a couple cup holders, or whatever, um, and then we'll we'll play off of that, and then obviously the um, piece that opens up in the middle will be pushed further back inside the car. So um, we're gonna go ahead and cut this out, and then I'm gonna use this one as a template for the other side. All right, grind schoolers. So I got the two side pieces cut out. So basically it's, it's gonna sit just like this um, in a console. So that's the front piece that goes up under the dashboard. And then it's, it's, it swoops down. It swoops down like this uh, because I wanna put another piece right here to house my gauges. And the old existing one is like that already. Um, but I want to do something a little bit different um, than what I had. And then, as you can see, these are going to be the sides. So this is going to be the side of it. And then uh, they'll be obviously spread apart. And then there's going to be a middle piece, like I said, like that one. And then we're going to go ahead and mock that one up 
now and see how it fits in here and then uh, go from there. All right, <clears throat> now you can kind of see it coming together a little bit. Um, this is the top, obviously, where the cup holders and stuff gonna go. Um, the little toggle switches. Gotta make a relief cup for the uh, shifter. I'm gonna make a sideways piece that go like that. That's gonna be the house, the, the gauges or whatever. Um, I'm not sure if I wanna go with like a, a little LCD screen or whatever with digital gauges or just go back with like the analog type. And then this just slides up under the dash just like that. So, um, and then we'll make our little storage box on the back of this. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna, it's coming together. It's coming together slowly but surely. So there it is. That's the storage box for the center console. So obviously this is the top. Lift up like that. We gotta put in some more support points. Obviously screwed all together. Um, I'm probably going to make like a, a, a relief cut a little bit alongside up in here. Um, just so it just gives it a little bit better of a touch. So when I go to fiberglass and wrap it and everything, um, it'll be okay to, to you know, it look nice, I guess you could say, instead of just being a little piece of wood just that flips up. Probably gonna put some foam um, on top of here. And what I was thinking about doing is getting like a, a wireless um, charging pad and then just set it, recess it down on top of the foam um, so that it just gives it, like I said, a nice little look. So yeah, we're making progress on this thing. We're making progress on this thing. I hope to have it done soon, but we'll see y'all. So uh, I'm still working on the middle piece. Uh, I had to order my cup holders. So those are on their way. They should be here Tuesday. So I'm gonna do cup holders in here. And then this is the hole that I'm gonna cut for my gear selector. And then here is, um, this will be, um, the side where you can see the letters, park, you know, reverse, neutral drive, whatever. Um, this came with my shifter, b &M shifter when I first got it. So I might try to incorporate that in there somehow. Um, probably just drill through here or something like that. And then, I don't know, figure it out somehow, some way. Uh, yeah, and then I got my box. Um, this is the storage box that used to be that but you know you can see that super thick and small and not all the way well put together but you know what i'm saying we just built another one it's a little bit bigger a little bit larger it's going to stick out into the back of the car a little bit more um but yeah so uh we're making really really good progress i just got to do the top and the side piece and then after that i just gonna mock it up make sure everything's aligned and straightened out and then uh, go test fit it in the car. And then also got these ones up here too. Those are all done. Um, I'm trying to get, uh, after, after everything's all said and done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fiberglass it once I um, confirm that the fitment's gonna be all right and I don't have to make no adjustments. I'm gonna fiberglass it, um, insert some lights and just do it all the way top level. So and see what happens. All right, grind schoolers. So we finally got the new cup holders in. Um, it got a little LED light in the inside of it, so it lights up. So now we're about to, we got it all mocked up, so we're about to go ahead and cut these uh, holes for the um, cup holders. Um, I also got my fleece and my contact cement, so we're gonna go ahead and um, get started on this, mock up the cup holders, make sure they fit, cut them out, and then we'll get to the fiberglass portion of this. <clears throat> Hopefully we finish this up today. Um, got the, or I was drilling out the holes for the center console right there, and the, the drill died or whatever, both batteries died, so hopefully I can get all that cut out today. Um, but we're working over here, um, working on the storage box. And basically all I did was I used some contact cement for the wood pieces, just because of how thin this wood is. The old wood was a little thicker, so I drilled it. Um, but I was gonna have to make some support brackets to make this work. And 
it just wasn't working out correctly. So I decided to use some contact cement and then there's some some gaps in there. So we'll have to probably hit that with some silicone just so I can seal it off. Um, I might not have to do that, but you know, just OCD about, you know, perfection, I guess a little bit. So I did get my fleece in. So what the fleece is gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it around this whole storage box and also the rest of the pieces. And I'm going to use my uh, fiberglass resin that I got. So fiberglass resin. And then I also got uh, the fiberglass mat. We're gonna go ahead and uh, put that stuff on after I put the fleece, or the fleece on. And shout out, you know, Sprayway Customs for the game on the fleece. We gonna see how it turn out. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take some of this spray adhesive and I'm going to spray it on the, um, the board here and then put the fleece over it. And then after I'm done doing that, um, I'm gonna cut out my holes, make sure my cup holders fit. And then I'm gonna mix up some of this stuff and uh, go ahead and lay on top of there. And then after that, we'll use the fiberglass mat to go ahead and uh, fiberglass this piece in. And then we'll be done with this piece. We're gonna do the whole box. And then we're gonna do these pieces. Um, and then we'll get to fixing any imperfections and get it done.